B2K6 Productions. In this video, I'm going to show you how you convert the raw files into a Cinema DNG file so that you can edit them in Premiere or DaVinci Resolve or After Effects or even Photoshop. So the software I'm using is called uh, Raw to Cinema DNG and I'll have a link in the description for you to download it if you need it. So just extract the file. So we're just gonna start the program. And I like to select the output settings, same as source. Keeps them in nice and tidy in the same place. And then I'll just copy over my MLV files, drag and drop them. And looks pretty much okay, and just press convert. Now the way I convert my files, after I convert them, I use Premiere to edit the video. I usually just open the files in After Effects first, and I'll show you why in a bit. So I'll open up After Effects. And the first thing we do is to change the color bit depth to 32 by alt-clicking on this icon. See the converted image sequence as folders now. For each clip is a folder. So I just click the first one, put the first picture, make sure it's camera raw sequence, and click import. And then you see it opens up in camera raw now. So it's pretty easy to collocate it. You can even collocate it straight from here. So what I usually first do is find and correct the white balance. But did a pretty good job already. <coughs> and I usually just take up the blacks. Let's see here. Pull them up. Maybe adjust exposure slightly. later you can in premiere you can yeah, adjust it again this is what I usually like and the nice thing about this you can even use uh, the haze if you have some hazy footage you make it really pop you even fix the sharpness here it's pretty badass save it as this if you have a lot of similar images a lot of similar footages you can go here and create a preset so yeah, I, I just call it for something the same flowers yeah, so next time you open up a an image sequence that needs grading and it's the same, you can just click on yellow flowers and it will add the preset. But now I'm done with this, I'll just click OK. And there it is, color graded already. Then you just put it down. DNX HD. So I'll show you how I set it up in case you don't have a preset here. 
so you just select format quicktime you can also use dpx sequences if you don't have the index hd but for now i selected quicktime select the codec avid dnx hd and call uh, codec settings make sure it's on rgb levels and alpha none and select 1080p and the quick frame rate of 23976 color space of 444 and 10 bit it's going to give you the most color information from your own video Also, you could just open up the Cinema DNG files directly in Adobe Premiere. Uh, I find it much more easier to color grade in After Effects using Adobe Camera Raw. Also in Adobe Camera Raw app, it will remove unwanted hot pixels and dead pixels from the image. You can also use Spot Remover to remove them and it will do it through the entire image sequence. And do noise reduction, lens corrections and it will all work easily and will not impact the render time that much. So now that we have a Premiere open, we'll create a new sequence. Make sure it's running the correct frame rate. And we should have the aspect ratio. We should try to match that. I think it would be 806. No. It would be 816 pixels high in the vertical. I'll click OK. Then post to our media files. Drag and drop them in. Here will ask you if you want to keep the settings or change to the sequence settings of the file. And I choose to keep the settings so that we get the aspect ratio of 235.1. But you notice the video is kind of stretched or squished. But that's an easy fix. Select all the clips and make sure to scale to frame size is deselected. Now, as you can see, the, the colors are pretty good already from the get-go, just from using camera roll. But if you still want to color grade it some more, you can do that too. I can also show you what it looks like if you just imported the Cinema DNG files directly into Premiere. As you can see here. So just throw in a cup here. So oh yeah, you see this is the difference because I shot the video with at the wrong white balance. But you can fix it by going over to color. Let's see. I can fix it. So you notice the, uh, right away that the video is it's pretty dark. The blue is really blue. 
it's too much blue in the background even if you try to use the white balance checker see this is supposed to be white and that's what happens colors just uh, gets fuggly So the only way to fix this is actually by using Camera Raw. But you can try and make it as best as you can. But I would suggest just using Camera Raw because you see the colors start to get kind of weird now. So this is why I, I just go through camera raw because it's so much easier to edit the raw files so just delete them. so if you have your footage here and you want to change this up a bit some more you can use this do your final touches simple color grid again here you make sure that you keep the highlights in the video so it will look more like a film because you don't want it to be blown up like this but you know you just color get it to your taste how you see it looks you'll see like if it looks good or looks or it doesn't feel doesn't get the mood you want so you can fix it You can also just copy the color grades if you thought it looks pretty good. So you see, you can just copy and paste it. Mm, it looks pretty good. Like you notice, some of the yellow start to keep out. I mean, get blown out. So that's how I do it for color getting in Premiere. I go through After Effects, input them there, and it opens Adobe Camera Raw, and there I can do a, a basic color grade of the video, or get it into the ballpark where I wanted it to be. And then I'll render out the videos as DNxHD uh, files, and input them back to Premiere. It's a difficult workflow to use raw because you need so much space and a beefy computer but for like small projects it's okay but I'm amazed how clear it is compared to H.264 files and this is how I collocated it in Premiere next video I'll show you how I do it on DaVinci Resolve thanks for watching and I hope you found it helpful